Hello everyone, this is Daddy here. Hope you are well. I want to show you today how to test an expert advisor in MetaTrader 4 platform. So you, somebody gave you an expert advisor or you bought it or you, you just got hold of one expert advisor and you want to know if that is good or not. So follow me. I'll show you how to do that. So you get your expert advisor. Let's assume you got one. I got one here called template M5 envelope. I'll copy that and I'll paste it on my MT4 platform. I can do it two ways. First method, I'll go to File, Open Data Folder. I'll look for the Expert Advisor under MQL4. I'll paste it here. That's one method. Okay. Second method, I'll go to, instead of going to Open Folder, I'll just say Save As. Okay. I'll navigate to Expert, Expert Folder. And say paste here it will tell me it's already there now so it's already there okay replace it all right replace replace it so you can use either of the method okay now that you have your expert advisor it should be listed under expert advisor when you view navigator right under navigator you will see it under expert advisor but can you see now we're not seeing it okay we're not seeing it remember the expert advisor was called template m5 envelope we are not seeing it yet because the mt4 is not aware it's there so you need to refresh it refresh it okay so when you refresh the mt4 now is there that is it now is there good step one done good step two we need to open what is called the strategy tester that is where we do back testing okay so you open that strategy tester now you need to select which EA you want to test. It will default to the first one. So here we want to select um, template, this one, template M5. You need to select which symbol, currency pair you want to trade on. Okay, let's leave it at Euro dollar. Uh, time frame, you want five minutes time frame. Okay, model, make sure you always tick every tick because that is the most accurate uh, model. And then the spread. Uh, spread, let's leave it current. If you say current, it will be using the current spread on the screen. Right now, the current spread is 2 or um, uh, 0.2 pips. Okay. Then you have to tick use date. Okay. Use date. Let's say we want to start from 1st of January this year up to today. Today is the 12th of, uh, 12th of October. So it wouldn't include 12th of October, it will include 11th of October. So that it will finish at 11th of October. All right. So the visual mode, there are two modes, visual and non-visual. So if you tick it, that's visual. If you untick it, it's non-visual. So first of all, let's do non-visual. So you've set everything. Uh, the EA itself has some parameters, but first of all, we are not going to look at the parameters yet. We just want to run it on a default settings. As it comes from the developer okay so you say start so now you have uh, like four tab one is the result it will be showing the result as it goes on the second one is called the graph it will be showing the graph of your profit as it goes on and when it finish it will show you the re report see this you must get 90% accuracy to be sure that your test is okay and also you will see the 90 percent here it shows it's accurate okay 90 percent. if you get anything less than 90 percent that means you haven't downloaded the data yet so you got to download the data by going to history center and whatever currency pair you want to trade let's say euro dollar you click that currency pair and you click download okay for me it will say i've already downloaded it see there are no new data for a symbol euro dollar do you want to recalculate all time frame okay i can do that so i can recalculate time frame but i've already downloaded if i haven't this percentage will be less than 90 so you know what is wrong there so you go and download okay now we have done this trade it says uh what we use hundred dollar to start he has made a profit of 68 dollar that's 68 percent the profit factor is 2.03 it means a, a it makes twice of what it lost. Uh, drawdown is very small. 
total number of trades for that period is 673 trades uh gross profit is 135 uh short position won 55 percent um profit trade percentage is 53 percent largest profitable trade is 0.45 large average trade profit is 0.38 um relative drawdown is only two percent which is fun oh actually 1.82 percent which is fantastic long position one is 50 percent you can see this is a good re result um though the winning rate is not that high but the average win is 38 pips the average loss is 21 pips so it wins more than it loses okay so that is that is one way you've you've completed a back test for the year. So what you can do is you know oh this is good for this year. Let's see 2019. So 2019 January one. So you want to test for the previous year to 2020 January one as well. So what that will do is that it will include January one 2019 to. December 31st 2019 you will include all those dates so let's see what happened there so you test for 2019 2020 was good what about 2019 the same thing it will show you result it will show you a graph see the gra graph is looks okay it's not as good as the 2020 as you can see it's <laughs> for the it makes a profit of eight dollars okay uh, the drawdown is one uh, one percent still, which is good, one point something percent. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what of what of 2018 to 2019. So that is 2018 January to the end of that year, inclusive of December 31st. Okay, let's try it. See what it does this time. So results still showing result. Okay, graph. Okay. This is 2018, all right? 2018 looks very good too. Okay, this is how you know whether e an EA, it is uh, consistent. You can see this EA is consistent. Uh, just based on the settings that are there, we have tested three years, $38 here, okay? Uh, let's do one more just to see whether it is still right. Uh, 2017, January. to 2018 January 1 so that means it will include 2017 January 1 to 2017 December 31st let's run that okay all right so this is for 2017 what do we get you got the result coming out you got the graph as well looking good so it shows that this EA is uh, consistently uh, making good money but the EA even if it makes money in test, you need to forward test it. That is, you need to add it to your chart and let it trade. So that you can confirm if this trade are actually possible on a demo account or on a live account. I would say try it first on a demo account before you go live. Let's see the result this time around. So this one, it makes $52. Okay. So with all this we have done, we haven't changed the properties of the EA. So this is the EA properties. Now, let me just tweak something in the EA and see whether it's going to improve anything. I want to, instead of doing um, zero point, it's, it's trading uh, 0.01 lot size. Where is the lot size? Uh, 0 0.01. Let's say it's, it's trading 0 0.05. I just want to push it a little bit. I know that's not, not the right thing, but uh, it's a test. I want to in fact sometimes you want to push it to break it so let's say we push it to 0 0.05 and see let's let's stay in 2017 okay 2017 it made a profit of 52 dollars that's 52 percent return uh now we have pushed it to 0 0.05 look at the drawdown is one percent here let's see what happened okay 52 dollar profit one percent drawdown all right let's see now that we are trading five mini lots well, the good news is still trading it hasn't crashed yet oh, and it's still going up it hasn't crashed yet so 
Remember, $52 initially and 1%. Draw down. Let's see what it's going to get now. This is how you push the boundary when you are testing. You push the boundary until you crash the EA so you know the limit of the EA. Okay? Now, it's made $251 now. 251%. Okay? But the, the uh, drawdown is still okay. It's only 5%. Okay? Let's push it one more time. Let's push it. That's what is called testing. You want to push it. Let me push it. I'm only testing one particular factor here, uh, parameter here. So let me push it to 0.1. Just the lot size only. I'll push it to 0.1 and see what happens. Okay, so, so with 0 0.5, 0 0.05, it makes 251% return in a year, in, in that year. And drawdown is still 5%, which is perfect. Now we make it a mini lot 0 0.1 let's see what happened still still trading which is good news wow still still going on which is good news it hasn't crashed yet let's see it doesn't look like it's crashing so that's uh okay is it finished oh it's not finished yet okay let's see it's not finished yet yeah it's finished now oh wow four hundred and seventy three dollars return so that's four hundred seventy three percent return and you see the uh relative drawdown has gone up to nine percent which is still okay compared to five percent previously so you can see how you can push the ea to see if it will crash okay but let me say i want to crash it right now and i put it i don't think it, it won't take Let's say 0 0.5. I doubt if it's going to take 0 0.5. And this is just a check. I don't think we have enough margin to actually trade 0 0.5. Does it? It does it? It tried. Okay, what's happening? All right. So, I think, does it, has it crashed yet? No, I haven't seen any result yet. Oh, you see what happened is that it cannot take a trade. Let's see the result. Let's see what happened. Look. Does it take any trade? Nah. So what happened is um, margin. Margin. No free margin. Free margin is 18. So it couldn't take a trade because there's not enough margin. It's submitting order by stop. Uh, all these others modifying the sell stop order but there's not enough money to buy anything so that's why you see zero percent here okay so that's how to push the ea so if you want to go further then you change some of this parameter to see which one is the best so let's for final let's go back to 0 0.1 just to make sure that uh the ea it works as it was working before it's just that we are trying to push it push to the boundary okay let's see this time around so the ea start this time around is posting uh the movement on the charts okay so guys this is how i just want to show you quickly how you can quickly back test an ea you need to back test an ea when you get one make sure you never ever put an ea on your account without performing this back test if you have any questions don't worry ask me you can you can ask me on my telegram group it's free uh you can also join me on your tradementor.com or uh, when you become a member you'll be added to my uh discord server i will leave all the details in the description and if you want to open your live or demo account with a uh, with a broker i'll leave my broker in the description as well okay i hope you enjoyed this lesson uh, I will likely bring you part two of this lesson uh, because uh, there's so much to read. This is just tip of the iceberg. I want to show you a lot more. Take care, guys. All right, talk to you soon. It's Dari.